Hi, Beauty Boosters, it's DMP Anissa, and I'm so excited to take you through my nighttime routine. I don't know about you guys, but the first thing I do when I come home after working a long work day is take my bra off, put my hair in a bun, and change into something comfy. So let me walk you through this very, very long, extensive process that was developed over several years and based on a lot of my own research. I'm a cosmetic injector, so I really believe in clinically driven results. So everything I'm gonna walk you through is based on my own research, based on my own results and it's based on everything that I tell my own patients in my own practice. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you like this, let me know. I'm happy to film a morning routine for you guys and let's get started. Okay, so the first step I do is take off all my makeup. I actually do this in the shower, but I'm gonna demonstrate it for you here. I know there's really good expensive makeup removers and balms out there and makeup wipes, but I find that this is the most soothing on my face, especially around my eyes. I literally just wet my face and I apply this baby shampoo and I really scrub into my eyes and this is the best makeup remover solution. So, how do you guys think? Took off all my makeup in one go and I was wearing a waterproof mascara and waterproof eyeliner. I love this makeup hack. All right, for my all-time favorite cleansers, and I am really picky with my cleansers because I really don't feel like any of them stand out to me, is the SkinCeuticals Glycolic Renewal Cleanser. I love this stuff. It has beautiful acids in here that helps with cell turnover, helps clean up texture, goes deep in the pore for cleaning out any oil and debris, and it offers a nice brainy component. So I do sometimes a double cleanse based on how long my day is, how stressful it was at work with the oil production, and I just really go deep into this. Normally I do extend it down to my neck and chest, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna focus on my face. But I do feel like a double cleanse really gets my skin squeaky clean. Okay, here we go, double cleanse. This is the second go around. So the next step I do in the shower is my exfoliating polish. This is literally the best seller at Beauty Boost. This is made out of magnesium crystals. It's not an abrasive scrub. It's finely milled so it doesn't cause any micro tears in the skin. I like doing this at night in particular for myself because I just feel like I really need an extra layer of a deep cleanse. It just helps smooth out any kind of texture I have. I have a lot of patients that actually do their polish every morning and this allows your skin to be a lot more smooth for their makeup application and offer a layer of brightening. So once I'm done with these three steps in the shower, I come out and I apply my toner. I really enjoy the Calming Toner by ZO. I feel like it's pH balancing. It's nice and soothing for my sensitive skin. Um, I don't really have problems with severe acne, even though you can notice that I do have three nice little pustules on the right side of my face due to my womanly time of the month. But I'm just applying it on a cotton pad. These are from Target. There's definitely a difference in cotton pads that you purchase. This one has a rough side to it where it has these little textured bottom to it. I do think that it goes a little bit deeper in terms of applying the toner. It gets deep in the pores. It pulls out the debris. I'm going to apply a generous amount of the toner and I like to use it until it goes dry. I tell my patients too to use their complex renewal pads or oil control pads until it goes dry because that product is expensive and you really want it to do its work. The first topical I apply on my skin at night is the Alto Defense. I love this. This has potent vitamin C in it as well as 17 antioxidants. So there has been so many clinical studies on this product and I've personally seen such an improvement in my skin, not only in brightening, but also my texture, also in the hydration of my skin. And every time I put on this product, people ask me, what is it? My skin is completely glowing. I do this morning and night. Okay, so while that's absorbing, I move on to my eye care. I am obsessed with the Interfuse Eye Serum. The reason why I love this so much is that there is a dash of caffeine in it. Not only does it help deep puff and help with under eye circles, but it also helps with fine lines and skin tightening. Next, I apply the Trio. This is my favorite hydrator. Heavy in hydration, light in weight. It comes out as a serum. I love this winter, fall, spring, summer, you name it. This gives me exactly what I need without leaving me oily or shiny. Next, you cannot neglect the neck. This is one of my favorite neck perfecting creams. It's called a Techno literally neck perfecting cream. So I do a couple pumps in the back of my hand. Notice how I apply all the products on the back of my hand. It just helps me dab and apply it evenly. I also extend it down my chest. 
I'm completely done with my face care topical, so now let's go into the refinement areas that I like to enhance. <laughs> the first thing is the Lash Boost Serum. I really like the name of this because there's a boost in it, like Beauty Boost, but this is my favorite. It's by Rodana Fields. It's clinically proven as well. I like to do just one swipe along my lash line, and because I want to extend my product, I do. I turn the wand around and do another swipe on the other lash line. When you clean the inner rim of your eyelid with a Q-tip, like so, not only will it get out the residual makeup that you applied, but it also opens up the glands of your lower lid, allowing it to produce oil. So every morning I'd wake up, my eyes would be really scratchy, really irritated, really red, and this is a huge game changer. I like to go into my Refresh Single Eye Drop. It is preservative free. I do a couple drops. I do have the AC blasting all night, so this really helps it stay hydrated. Lastly, I like to see what areas need a little more love when it comes to the texture and pustule. So I see three on the right side of my face. My more favoring one that I will be using tonight is the La Roche Effaclair Duo Dual Action Acne Treatment. This is 5.5% bunzo peroxide, also clinically proven. I love it for myself. Or you can just apply these acne patches. I have seen at Target a couple patches that I've tried out they don't really work so I love love these I know what you guys are thinking as a cosmetic injector and someone who very much cares about her health and beauty I don't use actual floss I use these little toothpicks I'm very proud of this dispenser I found off Amazon you press the button and it releases a toothpick so very cool if you guys don't know you should be flossing before you brush your teeth so I'm just gonna go ahead and floss away I like to brush my teeth with the Sonicare. I know this is not the healthiest on your gums. I can't move away from the toothbrush because I really believe it works in a deep, clean manner and it actually has helped me prevent a lot of cavities. Something to know about the Sonicare or any electric toothbrush for this matter is don't apply a lot of pressure because that will recede the gum line. All right, I know what you're thinking, what the hell is this? This is a tongue scraper. It's actually ancient India traditions where we scrape our tongue to remove the residual bacteria. This really does work, you guys. I was not a believer until I actually used it and you can find this on Amazon. Okay, next I take my vitamins. Since I take a women's multivitamin, I take my transemic acid that helps with my melasma. If you want more information, please direct message me. I can guide you through that process. I also take a super strength vitamin D because I am in a clinic all day. I take turmeric, which is an anti-inflammatory that helps with my back pain and any inflammation in my body. And lastly, I also take a super C because it's flu season, There's a, COVID is coming around again, I wanna make sure I'm nice and protected. Last but not least, I hydrate my lips. For you girls that have lip filler, just know that the more hydrated your lips are, the better your lip filler is going to be. I love the Cuticle Lip Intensive Balm on um, Target. I like it as a night mask. I like it during the day. It looks like a lip gloss. I'm out of it, but that is my go-to. Like I said earlier, everything that I do for my face is based on my own research, and I am a science based. I have my doctor as a nurse practitioner. So if you guys like this video, please let me know. I know it sounds like so much work. Work, but I promise it's very rewarding when you start to see the outcome. Until next time, Beauty Boosters. Bye bye. That's really, really fucking long, huh? Lisa, and I know what you guys are thinking is she naked? <laughs> what am I saying? We're gonna do that one more time because you know, your girl gets weird. Okay, for just here we go. I not only do this on my neck, but I also, I'm gonna do one more for Justin Casey's.